Hello everyone, let's start with exercise 2.2, question number 2. So in this we need to state true or false and justify your answer. So in this it says if the zeros of a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c are both positive. It says that alpha is positive and beta is positive as well. Now it says then a, b and c have the same sign. Now we know from alpha plus beta that is sum of the zeros we have minus b over a. So this is what we know from the solution that alpha plus beta equals minus b over a. It shows that minus b over a is negative. This seems to be negative here right because we have negative sign here. So but sum of two positive numbers is positive only. Like alpha is positive, beta is positive, the left hand side is positive and the right hand side in this statement is negative. So what we need to have is that either b must be negative or either a must be negative. Either b must be negative, a must be positive and either b must be negative or a must be positive or vice versa like b must be positive or a must be negative to form positive here. So if we have positive on the both sides then only we can say that this condition satisfy or we can say that this is not possible that a, b and c all have same signs. This is not possible in this case. So this will be false here. But I can take one example here. Like suppose we have alpha plus beta as 3 plus 4. So if we have 3 plus 4, the left hand side will be 7 or you can say it will be a positive term. Now if suppose we have b as minus 7 and a as 1. So minus minus 7 over 1. Now it is 7. So from this it is very clear that B must be negative and A must be positive for this condition. They can't have same, They uh, you can see here that they don't have same sign. Now in the second case if I take. So on the left hand side we have 7. Now suppose we have B as positive 7 and A has A as minus 1. So minus minus gets cancelled out. We have 7 here. So left hand side equal right hand side. Now in this case what you can conclude is that B is positive and A we took is negative. So you can again see that they are of opposite sign. If we need A plus alpha plus beta as positive. So you can see that B and A must be of opposite sign. They can't have same sign. So that's your answer for question number 1. That is false. So thank you for watching this video.